morning from News Channel 3 with Mike Moore and Samantha Moore. Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. And still to come in our newscast, it's new and it's cool. It's the ice train and Valley residents got a chance to hop on board this morning. A new superfast train makes a pit stop in the valley that may change train travel as we know it. It's called the Intercity Express, and while it may not service folks in the southwest, people in the northeast appear to be in store for the latest in speed, comfort, and amenities. This is expected to bring lightning-fast train travel to the northeast part of the United States soon. It's called the Intercity Express, or ICE. The train is already operational in Germany, but now folks commuting in the fast-paced areas like New York City and Washington, D.C. will get to ride this sleek demon on rails that has already tested well in the States, according to Ernest Thompson with Amtrak. It's one of the fastest trains in the world. The ICE, or Intercity Express, has gone up to 250 miles per hour in Europe and in the U.S. up to 162. Speed and comfort has been taken into consideration. For now, the train has six cars powered by electric rails. Inside, the first-class compartment seats five and is roomy. The first-class main area provides individual video screens. The coach area has a little less room. Then there's the main dining area featuring onboard cooked meals. No microwave ovens. And there's a second dining area. It appears several passenger concerns have been addressed here. But another concern has to be safety. What happens when a train traveling in excess of 160 miles an hour and you've got cars on the other side of the track and they want to beat the train? For, for grade crossings, you need to have more of a, of a grade, like a, a cage or something that came down and covered the whole road so people couldn't go around it. This morning we found someone on board who saw those grade crossings while traveling on this same train in Germany. She seems to think that it's safe as well as sound. I rode from Munich to Hamburg and it was quite good because it is very fast and you can't hear any noise. It's comfortable. The initial run in the Northeast will be from New York City to Washington, D.C. beginning the 1st of October. Later, service is planned to extend to Boston. Finally tonight, climbing aboard a deluxe passenger rail car and zooming to your Arizona destination at 250 miles an hour kind of sounds like a dream. But all of that can become reality with this super sleek, super fast high-speed train. Is that redundant? Super fast high-speed? Well, anyway, this is how many Germans travel, but the Amtrak Intercity Express, or ICE train, is being tested for operation here in the U.S. as well. Tonight, it's parked at the Phoenix Union Station, so vis visitors can tour the cars and suggest how it might be improved. But they need to fix the tracks before that train's going to move 250 miles an hour Good across point. this country. Watching KPHO Phoenix. Now, your Midday News 5 with Roger Downey and Stu Tracy. Are you sick of fighting the valley traffic? Why not sit back and let someone else do the driving by taking a train? News 5's Carol Archer joins us now with a look at rail travel with a luxurious twist. Carol? Well, that's right, Roger. The idea of using trains for mass transit here in Arizona is currently being studied by a joint legislative committee. And today at Phoenix Union Station, Arizonans got a first-hand look at what first-class train travel is all about. Meet the ICE train, which stands for Intercity Express. This is the type of train that whisks European passengers to and fro. It's on a national tour of this country. Amtrak plans on using the ICE train on its routes in the Northeast for two months while drawing up plans for its own high-speed system. I mean, the crowds we've seen as we've gone around the U.S., thousands of people have come out. We think there's a renewed interest. Inside, it looks more like a hotel than a train. TV monitors grace every seat, first-class dining cars, conference rooms, and computer hookups so business travelers can work en route. Officials hope that one day these high-tech trains will give the airlines a run for their money. I think it'd be a minor increase if our experience in the Northeast is any indication. Uh, certainly compared to air travel, which is in, in, in short distances what we're competing with here, the cost would be, uh, would be minimal. 
The ice train can blast you from town to town at speeds exceeding 250 miles an hour. The 21-member committee studying rail for mass transit in Arizona is scheduled to report to Governor Symington for the end of the year. So we'll see what they have to say. Any idea yet how much uh, a fare would cost on that train? Well, as I mentioned in October, Amtrak is going to be using this ice train on a temporary basis for a couple of months. They're going to charge $91 one trip from Washington, D.C. to New York. So that's not a bad for that first-class travel. Oh, no, that's great. Thanks, Carol. You're watching Arizona's number one primetime news. Now, your primetime news five with Linda Turley, Roger Downey, and Karen Carnes. Are you sick of valley traffic? Then why not sit back and let someone else do the driving in a train? Today, Phoenix residents were introduced to first-class train travel. The Intercity Express, otherwise known as the ICE train, rolled into Phoenix Union Station this morning as part of its national tour. A joint legislative committee is studying the intriguing idea of using trains for mass transit right here in Arizona. Given the crowds we've seen as we've gone around the U.S., thousands of people have come out, we think there's a renewed interest. I think it'd be a minor increase if our experience in the Northeast is any indication, uh, certainly compared to air travel, which is in, in, in short distances what we're competing with here, the cost would be, uh, would be minimal. Ice train passengers travel in style with amenities like TVs, conference rooms, and computer hookups, not to mention the ice exceeds speeds of 250 miles per hour. The 21-member committee studying rail for mass transit in Arizona is scheduled to report to Governor Symington before the end of this year. From today's 10, this is the Channel 10 News. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Welcome back to Daybreak. It's about 25 after the hour and still 78 degrees outside. And in Europe, high-speed high commuter trains are nothing new. That's right, but here it's another story. Amtrak is testing a train that they may, may use here in the United States. In fact, they may add it to their East Coast routes. It's called ICE, I-C-E, or Inner City Express, and it's already popular in Germany, where it can get up to 250 miles an hour. The train system is hailed for its speed and luxury. Now, you don't have to go anywhere to get a peek of this traveling wonder. In fact, it's right here in Phoenix on tour this morning. Let's go out live now to the Amtrak station where Marcy Larson is standing by to give us a look. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning. How fast will this uh, train go? It looks really slick. Well, right now this train is moving about the countryside as part of a national tour. So as it does that, it's going to be traveling at its normal track speed with a maximum of 79 miles an hour. When it's operating in the Northeast Quarter, which is Washington, New York, and where we're going to be doing the testing, looking to replace our current train fleet, it is going to operate at speeds up to 140 miles per hour. Marcy, where is this train being used now? Well, uh, it came to the United States at the end of uh, June, and it went through about uh, four to five weeks of technical testing under the direction of the Federal Railroad Administration at Amtrak, and it's now on a national tour and will start in revenue service between Washington and New York, October 5, and will make one round trip daily until December 17th. Yeah, Marcy, now this train, a uh, similar train, are being used in Europe now, is that true? This is correct. This yeah. train operates in Germany. It's been there since 1991, uh, operating over several different routes. Now, uh, you're studying this for use in the Northeast, but what about Arizona? Any plans for high-speed uh, rail service here? Well, to a certain extent, that's probably up to the citizenry of, of this area and uh, what determination they would feel in terms of making high-speed rail a part of their uh, transportation mix. As you may know, there are several designated high-speed corridors around the United States already, of which the closest one is in the state of California. Marcy, how long will the ICE train be there here in Phoenix, and, and how can we see it? Well, this morning we're going to be doing some uh, invitational activities. Uh, we're going to be expecting to have some legislative officials over and uh, some of you media folks and a few others, decision makers, uh, who can take a look at the train. And then we're going to be leaving at 10 o'clock this morning, headed over to Florida. Okay. okay. Marcy, thank you very much. Thank you. You can hear it humming in the background. Yeah, now. you can. <laughs> Probably only take a few minutes to get to Florida. It's one of those high-speed trains. <laughs> From
from today's 10, this is the Channel 10 News. A lot of frequent travelers choose to fly because airplanes are a quick way to get to their destinations. But thanks to this advanced mode of rail transit, planes may no longer be the only option. Amtrak's super-fast inner-city express train is being tested for use right here in the U.S. Today it's in Arizona. The so-called ICE train can exceed speeds of up to 250 miles per hour. The high-speed train is currently running regular service in Germany. From today's 10, Bob Bruce, June Thompson, Dave Muncy with weather, J.D. Hayward with sports. This is the Channel 10 News at 6. If you like to travel by train, or even if you don't, you might like the latest uh, ride on wheels. Coming up, we're going to go for a ride on the ice train from Germany. How would you like to hop a train that travels 250 miles an hour? The Inner City Express does just that. As Teresa Fishnick reports, it's a luxurious ride that some hope will catch on in Arizona. No, that's not it. This is the train we're talking about. The train of the 21st century. Looks sleek from the outside, but come aboard and you'll see just how sleek. In some ways, you feel like you're on a luxury airliner, traveling first class, but with so much more room. Wide aisles, lots of leg room, and big windows. A full-service restaurant serves full-course meals, or you can go more casual at a snack bar. If you need to make a phone call, there's a phone booth just around the corner. Want to watch TV? Every seat has a television monitor and stereo headsets. But what most passengers will love the most is this train's speed. What we're bringing over is the new generation, uh, the trains that go up to 200 miles per hour. This train has been tested at 250 miles an hour. It operates every day in European cities at 175 miles an hour. And it's cheaper, it's quicker, and it's safer than flying. And if it catches on in the U.S., it could become the newest way to travel for long-distance commuters. In Phoenix, Teresa Fishnick, Channel 10 News. Gotta love it. From today's 10. Bob Bruce. June Thompson. Dave Muncy with weather. Kevin McCabe with sport. This is the Channel 10 News at 10. When we come back, we'll update you on the stories making headlines on this Tuesday night. And Bill Leverton hits the tracks. A train ride to remember. Stay up with us. Well, you can drive or you can hop a bus. Two sure ways of getting around town. Or you can hop a high-speed commuter train. At least you could today. It's called the ICE or Intercity Express. The topic of commuter rail system in the valley has come up every once and again. But as Bill Leverton shows us tonight, this type of fast-moving train probably won't be your day-to-day -day transportation. Actually, they hadn't even planned to stop here. This was just one of those places they had to go through to get somewhere else. But the Arizona Rail Passenger Association, which has long advocated a regional commuter rail system, managed to finagle a quick open house. The train is pressurized just like an airline, so when you close the doors, they seal just like in an airplane. And that helps... Oh, the ICE train is very fancy and very comfortable and can go very fast over 200 miles an hour, and in Europe it regularly travels 175 miles an hour. But this is probably the last time we'll ever see one. Well, the ICE train, of course, is designed for a very high-speed track and uh, that they have on the German Federal Railways. And so I do not believe that the first generation of the Arizona rail system will be the type of, that would use this equipment. 
The Arizona Rail Passenger Association is going to push very hard to have at least some sort of demonstration commuter rail service in place around the 96 Super Bowl when lots of visitors will be in the valley and looking for ways to get around. Well, realistically, where we are is we're a short way down the road towards uh, reaching this reality, but uh, nevertheless, we are on the road there. Amtrak will run the ICE train along the Northeast Corridor later this year, testing to see if they'll buy them for those heavily used commuter routes. But don't hold your breath waiting to see this train rocketing across the Arizona landscape at 150 miles an hour. Near Eloy, and this is Bill Leverton on the Arizona Road. It's fun to think about taking it from L.A. to New York, cross country. Oh, I used in that. to love to ride the train yeah. as a child. A great way to travel. All right. News closed captioning for the hearing impaired is brought to you by Motorola, people making a difference. Now, from the Grand Canyon to the White Mountains and Sonoran Desert, the team that brings you news from across our state with Ron Hoon and Connie Cola. If you love trains, here's a story you'll love. There'll be big doings this morning at the Phoenix Union Station downtown because Amtrak has something to show off. Matter of fact, our Julie Anderson is at the train station right now with more. Hi, Julie. Hi, Ron. That's right. There's a train here at the Phoenix Union Station that looks a little bit out of place. It is Amtrak's super fast ICE train. Now, ICE stands for Inner City Express. The ICE train runs regularly in Germany. It has been tested at speeds up to 250 miles per hour, but it runs in regular service at speeds of 140 to 175 miles per hour. The um, ICE train is an electric train, but there are no electric facilities in this part of the country, so it is being pulled by two diesel engines. Amtrak is taking the train on a tour of the country. Trains similar to this one are under consideration for Amtrak's Washington, New York, Boston, Northeast Corridor. The ICE train is not only fast, it is supposed to be more comfortable than similar trains with added amenities. And you know, you, the use of trains like this is under consideration here in Arizona. Governor Symington has a committee looking into the possibilities of using the railways for mass transit in Arizona. Pretty neat, huh, Ron and Connie? Yeah, it is very interesting, Julie. Is it going to be a long time now before we know if the governor gives the go-ahead for mass transit in Arizona? You know, it's a slow process, just like everything else, getting something big like this to come to the state. So first things first, um, the governor, his committee has to report its findings and recommendations to him by the end of this year, and then we'll see what happens after that. Okay, I'm sure all kids going through vacation withdrawal want to know how quick that train could take them to Disneyland. That's right. <laughs> Probably get them there in about two hours. All right, thanks, Julie. Well... News is closed caption for the hearing impaired. Now, from the Grand Canyon to the White Mountains and Sonoran Desert, the team that brings you news from across our state with Cheryl Parker and Connie Cola. And they're commonplace in Europe, and they could be coming to Arizona. The story when we come back on Arizona's news station. There was lots of ooing and aahing at the downtown train station today. A German-leased intercity express train made a stop there. There's hope that a similar vehicle will run through the northeastern U.S. and maybe Arizona someday. Our Julie Anderson climbed aboard and she has this report. The ice train looked a bit out of place at the downtown Phoenix Union Station. We're used to seeing black diesel trains carrying freight, not sleek 655-foot-long Amtrak passenger trains. Hello. Hi. Hi. You want to go first? And once you step inside the Inner City Express, you can't help but notice luxury all around you. What we're coming into right now is the uh, first class uh, accommodations. There are phones in most of the, uh, in the, in the first class and coaches. In first class, there are private rooms with seats enough for six, plus comfy chairs to snooze in, and entertainment. Little TVs in front of you and radio dials on your armrest. This, of course, is the dining car. This is where there would be formal uh, meals served, waiters and waitresses and, and things to serve formal meals. Besides the amenities, the ICE train is fast. It's been clocked at speeds up to 250 miles per hour, but it usually travels around 175. The train also saves energy because it's electric. Does a passenger train fit into Arizona's future? We'd like to get this kind of a facility 
not exactly this train itself, but something similar to this, by 1996. Members of the Arizona Rail Passenger Association are private citizens working to get passenger trains up and running from Phoenix to Tucson to Yuma, Wickenburg, and Flagstaff. We're one of the few metropolitan areas with a population base of being the ninth largest city in the United States that does not have a commuter or rail system in place operating. Right now, a legislative committee is studying whether or not passenger rail service is feasible in Arizona. The results of that study should be handed over to the governor before the end of the year. Julie Anderson, 12 News. Some pretty exciting prospects. If Arizona were to get passenger rail service, it wouldn't be just like the ICE train. Instead of running on electricity, it would be diesel powered. That way, new tracks wouldn't have to be built. It may save money, but a diesel powered train travels much slower than an electric one. News closed captioning for the hearing impaired is brought to you by Bank One. Whatever it takes. Now, from the Grand Canyon to the White Mountains and Sonoran Desert, the team that brings you news from across our state with Kent Dana, Janine Ford, Bill Austin Weather, and Bill Denny Sports. The debut of a new high-speed train. Amtrak is showing off the state-of-the-art train from Germany as part of a nationwide tour. The rail line is considering buying the new train to improve service. KTVW, la primera fuente de información de la televisión en español en Arizona, presenta Noticias 33. Y aquí en el Valle del Sol, varios vagones de un tren moderno que viaja a altas velocidades y el cual ya se encuentra en uso en Alemania, estuvo en Finis para su correspondiente demostración. El tren, que aparentemente será operado por la empresa Amtrak, puede viajar hasta velocidades de 250 millas por hora y llevar cómodamente sus pasajeros. Se espera que las primeras unidades entren en operación en el noreste del país y que que cerca de 26 vagones de este estilo sean construidos en el término de los próximos meses. Según voceros de Siemens y Amtrak, esta iniciativa generaría más de 2.000 trabajos a nivel nacional. This is KGON 9, in touch with Tucson. Reporting live, Guy Ashley, Norma Concio, First weather with Christy Fletcher. And sports with Dave Silver. This is KGON 9 News at 5. A new form of high technology moved down the tracks in Tucson today. Amtrak is showing off its new high-speed trains. 26 of them will be on the rails by next year. Mark Horner has more on the future of train travel. It's called a high-speed intercity express or ice train. As it pulled into Tucson, it got all sorts of looks. Train buffs could check out the technology, but inside is where you'll find some truly impressive features. A lot of people get on and say, oh, it's just like Star Trek. The ice train built by the Siemens Corporation of Germany features all sorts of fancy gadgets. A door opens automatically as you walk towards the dining room. By the way, the food is cooked from scratch in a kitchen. There are conference rooms where you can hook up your computer and fax machine. A train computer even gives travelers the luxury of finding out if a connecting train is on time and other services like hotel reservations and calling for taxi rides. I didn't know what to expect. I've been riding trains since college, but um, this isn't like a train. This is first-class luxury all the way. And then you just kind of push yourself out there. All right, so you just outside. Everybody was back Am I going to cramp him? Yeah. No. <laughs> and first class includes plenty of leg room, not to mention video monitors built into the back of the seats. There's a headphone right, right there. Some Tucson city leaders recently rode the train in Germany. Its top speed is 150 miles an hour. What was your impression when you first got on that train? Absolutely fantastic. It's state-of-the-art, ultra-modern, efficient, comfortable, and very fast. When will we see the ICE train in this country? Well, it begins a demonstration service in October and will do so until December, providing passengers with transportation between New York and Washington. Mark Horner, 9 News. Some people do have serious safety concerns when it comes to high-speed trains. Safety advocates say railroad crossings would become even more dangerous. One Arizona advocate says we can learn from what European drivers do when they approach railroad crossings. 
they treat, like I was saying, they treat a uh, railroad track the same way as you treat an airport runway. They stay away from it. It's not a place to be. Um, if there is a highway railroad grade crossing and the gate comes down, they'll stop. They have very, very few grade crossing accidents there. Wade says nearly 600 American drivers died in train collisions last year. Meantime, another safety advocate says with high-speed trains coming, a lot of crossings should be eliminated. Then, uh, there's no escape from completely separating the uh, railroad and the road that crosses over it or under it. So that's what's going to have to happen in your mind to make it safe is for the railroad to go above the roadway? Or below, or below just, just so they don't intersect at the same grade. Haswell says he does not think most passenger trains will need to travel at 150 miles per hour. A high-speed train from Germany pulled through Tucson today and made a quick stop. It was a brief visit to promote high-speed transportation. Christine Hill has that story. The Inner City Express, also called the ICE train, rolls into Tucson. The electrically operated train has been running in Germany since 1991 and moves at speeds of up to 170 miles per hour. But today, this one is being pulled by a locomotive touring the country and giving citizens a sneak peek at future transportation options. The attraction of the train is for business travelers, and so we've tried to do everything we can to, for the amenities for a business traveler. Including a business office, complete with a fax machine, computers, and printers. There are also two restaurants on board. Rail officials hope the tour opens eyes as to the benefits of this high-speed transportation mode. The bottom line is that high-speed rail in designated quarters around the country is a very sound, sensible alternative to building more highways, to building additional airports. Rail officials say they're making tracks in the effort to bring this high-speed transit system to the northwest part of the country. But will it ever make its way to the Sun Belt and here in Tucson? Well, local officials are optimistic. It's something that will happen in Tucson. There will eventually, someday, hopefully sooner than later, be one between Tucson and Phoenix and between Arizona and Southern California. And eventually there will be a network in the United States. But don't expect to catch this train here in Tucson over the next eight years. Officials say they're still conducting studies to determine the cost to bring this system to the Sun Belt. Christine Hill, KOLD, New Center 13. And the train's next stop is El Paso, Texas. Then on to New York, where it will temporarily run service between New York and Washington, D.C.